Though not as popular as their American counterparts, metric cruisers have a lot to offer. Here are 7 new metric cruiser motorbikes for 2024. Number 7. Royal Enfield Meteor 350. The classic cruiser style that has gained popularity among riders is carried over into the 2024 Meteor 350. Long rides are made more enjoyable by its teardrop-shaped gasoline tank, broad, comfy saddle, and easy riding stance. The bike has a modern touch with the new color options and finishes, yet it still has a classic appeal thanks to the chrome highlights. The sturdy J-Series engine, a 349cc single-cylinder air-oil-cooled engine, is the heart of the Meteor 350. With a power to efficiency ratio of 2 to 1, this engine generates 20.2 horsepower and 27 newton meters of torque. The engine and 5 speed gearbox combination provides seamless and fast gear changes. Number 6 Suzuki Boulevard M109R. The strong and svelte 2024 Suzuki Boulevard M109R is still the performance cruiser that makes other motorcycles long for their arrival. With its strong V-twin engine and some of the biggest pistons in the business, the M109R is a bike that will make you want to run faster every time you ride. The massive 109 cubic inch engine is housed in a sleek chassis with drag style bars, slash cut mufflers, a solo seat cowl that comes standard, and a headlamp nacelle that is only found on Suzuki vehicles. Deep chrome that extends to the powerful dual muffler exhaust and the edge of the fork mounted headlamp nacelle highlights the deep glass sparkle black paint. The M109R's breathtaking appearance detracts from anything else on the road. Robust inverted forks, a concealed single-shock rear suspension, and a perfectly shaped saddle combine to provide snappy handling and an incredibly pleasant ride. So this bike is more than simply pretty. Number 5. Kawasaki Eliminator. Do you enjoy riding vintage or contemporary cruiser bikes? If so, you shouldn't miss the 2024 Kawasaki Eliminator, which Indonesia has finally seen the release of. This is the most recent iteration of Kawasaki's sport bike series, the Eliminator, which dates back to the 1980s. A 451cc DOHC 8-valve liquid-cooled parallel twin engine with a peak torque of 42.6 Nm at 7,500 rpm and 52 horsepower at 10,000 rpm powers the vehicle. On paper, the Kawasaki Eliminator engine produces more power than its closest rivals, including the Honda Rebel 500. A 471.03cc DOHC 8-valve liquid-cooled parallel twin engine powers the Honda Cruiser. Number 4. Triumph Bonneville Bobber. The post-war custom bobber motorcycles, which were distinguished by their understated, minimalist appearance, are honored in the design of the 2024 Bonneville Bobber. A well-thought-out concealed monoshock rear suspension gives the motorcycle a vintage hardtail appearance while offering contemporary ride comfort. Its single-seat, broad flat handlebars and low, slung stance give it a classic bobber look. Triumph's well-known 1200cc parallel twin engine powers the 2024 Bonneville Bobber. This liquid-cooled engine, which has been tuned especially for the bobber, has a strong torque curve and plenty of the low and mid-range power that bobber riders need. 
With 77 horsepower at 6,100 revolutions per minute and an amazing 78 pound-feet of torque at just 4,000 revolutions per minute, the engine ensures an exciting ride and fast acceleration. Ride-by-wire technology, which Triumph used in the Bonneville Bobber, enables precise throttle control and the incorporation of riding modes. Number 3. Kawasaki Vulcan S customers desiring a cruiser with the athletic vibe that is characteristic of Kawasaki may find the Kawasaki Vulcan S satisfactory. Originally designed as a long-distance cruiser, this new motorcycle provides a comfortable riding position. The cutting-edge Ergo Fit technology on the Kawasaki Vulcan S allows for 18 customizable seating positions based on customer preferences, ensuring a comfortable ride. The Ninja 650 engine, which has a 649cc 8-valve DOHC parallel twin liquid-cooled design, an injection system, and a 6-speed transmission, is what powers this cruiser. It can generate 60 horsepower at 7,500 revolutions per minute and a maximum torque of 63 newton meters at 6,600 revolutions per minute with a compression ratio of 10.81. Number 2. Honda Rebel 1100. The bike, which goes by the names Rebel 1100 and Comex 1100 over there, keeps the Neo-Bobber style that has gained it so much popularity. But it has a more understated appearance that belies its actual capabilities. The Honda twin-cylinder 1084cc engine powers the Honda Rebel 1100. This engine has an HP of 87. At typical speeds, it operates smoothly and vibrates very little. On the other hand, the handlebars vibrate more strongly when you drive faster than 100 km per hour. This is typical as this speed range sees the engine revving at nearly 4000 RPM. Regarding lights, this motorcycle has an all-LED lights system embedded in the color navy titanium. Additional features include settings for riding modes, throttle-by-wire acceleration, and cruise control. Complete digital panel meter installed, which shows a variety of data including riding mode, rotation meter, shift position, speedometer, air temperature, speed, DCT characteristics, and temperature conditions. Number 1. Royal Enfield Shotgun 650 In India, the most recent Royal Enfield Shotgun has been unveiled. It is anticipated that the 650cc big bike will cost less than the Super Meteor 650. Compared to the Super Meteor 650, a near relative of the Royal Enfield Shotgun 650, it is comparatively lighter and shorter. The Royal Enfield Shotgun's paint job is comparatively simpler in its production form, with just three color choices, green drill, plasma blue, sheet metal gray, and stencil white. Based on its appearance, it appears that this motorcycle will be cozy to ride on lengthy excursions. Due to the low seat position and large handlebars of this motorcycle, the Shotgun 650's modular construction allows it to be quickly changed from one seat to two seats. The Royal Enfield Shotgun and the Super Meteor 650 share the same engine and main frame. The same 47 horsepower and 52.3 newton meters of torque may be generated by the 648cc parallel twin engine. Ergonomics is one area where the Royal Enfield Shotgun and the Super Meteor 650cc diverge.